good morning. Look at the beauty behind me. That's why I love living in South Florida. And imagine this. God spoke and he created this universe with all of its beauty and complexity. God spoke the word, the Logos, and this perfect word became a perfect man in the person of Jesus Christ. And this Jesus, this God, this spirit that created you, that created the world around you, loves you so much that the Son, the Logos, died on the cross for you. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how evil you've been. There is no sin that God will reject, that he will not forgive apart from the sin of rejecting him. That's the only sin that God will not forgive is if you reject him and his love and who he is as a creator. And this God, you guys, wants to live inside of you. If you are already born again, he lives in you. Jesus said in John 3, unless a man or woman is born again spiritually, they will never enter the kingdom of God. To be born again is to have God come and live inside of you. For his presence to be felt and to give birth to new life. And this new life, this new power, this new joy, this new peace transforms you. It cleanses you and it gives you new direction. So I want to encourage you this morning to receive the God of the universe in your life. Maybe you've already received him, but you've forgotten what he's done for you, and you've forgotten who he is, and you've forgotten that he lives in you, and he's given you power. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, it says, For God, or I think it's verse 17, For God has not given to you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, of love, and self-control. And how I need to remember that, and how we need to walk in that, and how 25 years ago when I was sitting in the L.A. County Jail, I needed to receive that love, that power, that wisdom, that ability to, to live a new life through Jesus Christ. So I, again, I want to challenge you and I want to invite you to receive Christ in your life, whether you're a Christian or you're not a Christian, to receive him to walk with him by faith today. Trust him to believe that the God whom you serve can move mountains in your life. Receive him by faith. Call upon him. God bless.